Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of GeoGuessr. We're doing Luxembourg today. And let me tell you, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Um, it's a small little area. It's about, I think, a thousand square miles. Uh, that's the total land area. It's not like a thousand by a thousand, like the entire land area. Uh, which is about half the size of Long Island, New York. Um, which is incredible to me. How small this place really is. Um, that means we're going to have to be pretty spot on with our guesses. Now, I did a little bit of research because of my knowledge of this place. To find that they teach German in schools... The signs are in French, and people speak Luxembourg, or I can't even pronounce it. Uh, but it looks like we're on 106C. That should hopefully help us out. We're going to really need to be, like, on key. Because um, if not, we're probably going to lose a lot of points. So it looks like it goes from 100 and then up. Here's 106 right here. We need to find 106C. I'm hoping we're able to. I'm going to immediately start by saying it should branch off of 106. That's how I would think logically it should work. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean that's how it's going to happen. But look, 107A, so we need to find 106C. Doesn't look like we're finding too much of anything down here. Um, and it looks like it actually stopped. We find the end of 106. Uh, kind of right here, it looks like. And then it goes into 4C. Uh, so let's go the other way, 106. Just keep going north. Now, we could start looking for neither pollen, um, but I have a bad feeling that we won't be able to find it. I have, a, I have a better feeling of 106C, and I probably shouldn't. But here's 106B. So we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We at least saw there was going to be a different one. Can we at least find 106C or 106A? Because even if we find 106A, uh, that might help us out. Even just a little bit. Come on, nothing? 106, 106. Just following 106 is tough. It looks like that's where it ends. Um, 10 seconds. Fuck. Let's go over by where 106B was. It's kind of over in this area, right? We'll just guess 106. We'll see if we can find 106B again. Doesn't look like we are. But this this is a small area. So we were 2.8 miles. Um, looks like it was further up north. But I don't see a 106C. Anywhere. Here's 106 over here. Do we go that way? And if so, because I need to see now size comparisons. We now know where we were. We didn't have a too too bad of a guess. Um, but 2.8 miles, that's probably how much we traveled. Could it have been? I don't even remember which way we were going, because here's 116. We didn't even look at the other sign now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing any 106 Cs. So we should probably keep that in mind. And look for other clues as well. But 3,000 points is not a bad way to start. Now, the other thing, the other information that I found, um, was that forests, kind of similar to the one we might be leaving, uh, cover over, I don't know how much over, but over one-third of the area. Now, looks like we have three town names. We're coming up to them. I don't even want to start to look at them, even though we're in a relatively small area. Maybe, maybe we should start to look for them. Um, if we're able to find any town name that isn't blurred out, um, we should probably give it a look, right? But here, here's exactly what we need. Uh, Wilts, can I get back over here to get a better image? We're on 27. Can we find 27? 12, 3. And remember, always look by some big cities. 28. 10, 14, really, 21, 22, 23, 24, 27. All right. 
127. Asdorf, which is over here, is about six kilometers away. And that's to our south. So we gotta be like up here a little bit. Um, and then to our north, it's a place called Esch and Schroeder. Um not really well he, oh no here's the short river i'm guessing so where's etch and then wilts is 16. can we find wilts here's surrey but that's a different surrey i'm thinking it's the river um marto Lange. that should be 16 but that should be after astorf um but i'm not finding it here either so i'm guessing we might be a little bit further back uh, but let's return to start see if we can't find any clues right in here looks like it's a winding road coming down uh, maybe over here matches it I want to say we're pretty close to that sign um, that's got to be 27 right so we're on 27 if we go forward do we find any road markers Anything really on the sides doesn't really look like it. Um, probably reflectors to let you know where the road is. What is this? 53? 58? It's hard to tell. Um, that's probably just a kilometer marker. Probably nothing to do with where we are. Uh, that's probably the best hint we have. Um, so we're six kilometers from Astorf. So maybe we move it just a little bit closer. Just in case we are at Nah. Now nah, let's move back a little bit. We already know how good I am with judging my distances. Um. All right. Clearly, we know how well I am at judging my differences. Two miles. That. Look how big two miles is on this map. Wow. All right. So we are a lot further back. Um. By Insenborn and Bonal, and all these places. So from here to here is six miles. Well, six kilometers. Um, and six kilometers is, wait a second, is it six kilometers is 10 miles? Yes. So I need to, I need to start doing the translation because I, I was thinking it was six miles and now it's f closer to four, but a lot less than 10, but 35, 75, that's not bad. So we're not doing terrible. We're being two miles and two miles not net, like exactly but like that's I'm pretty sure that's pretty good um, we now know we're on a6 and then e25 split so here's a7 here's a6 a6 e25 all right here's e25 and a6 now can we find any of these names anywhere near here uh, doesn't really look like it, but we're by N13. The exit for N13. Okay. This is where things start to get a little interesting. A6 stops. Right here. Uh, turns into, it looks like A1. We are heading west. So it's turning into it. So then we should be coming from A1. So over here, does this turn into N13 or can we find N13 anywhere? Here's this regular 13. That kind of scares me. I don't want to guess it. Strictly because it doesn't have the N in it. And we have made mistakes like that in the past. Where we see the 13 and we're like, ah, but it doesn't have N on it. Because it could just mean north on 13. Or it could be road N13. Um, but that's still, that's down here. Now, I still don't see any of these names. I don't see Steinfort or Dipak or Garnick anywhere near 13. Which is also leading me to think maybe, maybe it's not the right road. Um, obviously, there's some other places we didn't really check. But I think, I think where we are is a pretty good guess. We're over by a city. Feels good. Can we find anything else? Can, let's go. We're going to go a little west. Uh, the Erre de Capelan. Then we have 
road numbers E25 and E44. E25 is 20 kilometers. And then E44. So we gotta be a little bit back. We gotta be back this way a little bit more then. Um because if E44 uh E25 is 20 kilometers. Then we're probably back here a little bit more. Over by Ham. And then here's E25. And then E44. So that's about this is supposed to be 30 kilometers, so I can see this ish. Somewhere over here being about 20. Um, because if you see it here, it says 20 and then 52. Here's 20 and then here's the 30. Maybe a little bit closer. Or, or, we're on the completely wrong road. Uh, over here. Okay, so 13A6 kind of makes sense. But, but, hear me out. Why was E25 20 kilometers away and E44 52 kilometers away if E44 we're going to encounter first instead of E25? Huh? May like I could see okay maybe E25 comes up this way but it it doesn't. Um Kind of, where is E25? This is E25. And then it turns into E44. Where does it break back off? Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. Because then it's A6 again, and E25, and E44. So they're the same fucking road. What? Huh? So then this is E25. And that would make a little bit more sense then. Where does this stop being E25? Or is it always going to be E25? It looks like it's always going to be E25. So that's something... I know you guys said it, but... I didn't take that into account. On to the next one. With a little bit less uh, motivation. I don't even know if motivation is the right word. That that threw me off. That I wasn't expecting to see that. Um, definitely in a forest now. Now we know that one third of the country is a part of a forest. And I think it said more than half of them are privately owned. How do you privately own a forest? I think that's me being from the United States. Like, everything's, like, state and federally owned when it comes to forests. How do you privately own a forest? That's that's the question of the day, all right? Let me know in the comment section below how you privately own a forest. Do you put, like, tolls up? Is there a road? What do you do? But that means we have to choose one of the many forests um probably gonna go for a public one because uh, i doubt google would go into a private one um actually you know what they probably did so we we would probably have to consider everything at this point um at this point though i am looking for any kind of road um any kind of number system any kind of anything to really give it away um and to be fair it's it's a thousand square kilometers, right? We can we can get a pretty good guess in. Um, so Germany is to our east. So we're gonna be on the border, I'm guessing, somewhere over here of Germany. Now there are some greens, uh, but that doesn't help us too much. And then Dasburg, Germany. Can we find Dasburg? Here it is. Here's Dasburg, Germany. That's to our east. So we gotta be over here somewhere. To our south is Weiden and Dietrich. Um, that might help us. We could be on this road or a little bit north. But I don't see any of those. We might need to zoom in a little bit more. But it doesn't really seem like it. But where is the green, the foresty feel here? It doesn't really seem like it's here. It seems like it's on the other side of, of Germany. And I don't want to guess too far north. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Um, but there's a park name. And it's blurred out. Um, not happy about that. Honestly. Because that, that right there is our is our saving grace. Uh, but we do know that that's to our east. So we could be a little bit more over here. Right? Can we find a deek rich anywhere? Anywhere? Even if it's like... Not where we expect to find it. Nothing? Dorscheid? 
And we could also look for Vinden, but I don't think Vinden is going to be easier to find. I think it's going to be Dykelerge. Um, doesn't look like too much of anything. Four seconds. I think we're in a good spot. We know Dosberg is to our east. We just don't know how far. Um, and actually, we were on the right word. Uh, wow. Right road. Uh, just not in the right spot. 1.5 miles. We have some good guesses. And I don't know if we have good guesses because of how small the country is. Or if we have good guesses because we kind of know about where we are. And maybe, maybe we do know a little bit more. But 1.5 miles. And I already said this. I thought it was going to be a little bit more gracious where we were 10 miles off and we were going to lose 1,000 points. 1.5 miles off and we're losing over 1,000 points. That's some tough grading. That really is. Uh, but we're up to the last and final location. We do have another town name. Uh, not a town name. We have a golf course. That, that you don't expect to see very often. Um, I know golf is pretty big in the United States. Um, I think it's also big in England. But, you would figure Luxembourg is relatively small. You wouldn't expect to see too many golf courses, I guess. Um, but we're over by Eslobon 332. Can we find a nice yellow 332 to end the day? 370, 358, 364... 356 and 7, 353. I just need a 332, man. A lot of 3s. 322, two, not 332. Three, 331. Three, so maybe around the 331. 322 two again. 331. Three, Come on. Come on. Every number. Every number here. But the one we're looking for. 331 three, again. 332. Three, All right. That looks like Esselborn. Um, so we're, we're in between Lentzweiler and Esselborn. Uh, so we're about right here. Let's return to start, which brings us closer to Esselborn and 600 meters from the golf course. Um, can we find the golf course? Is this the golf course? No, it's too small to be a golf course. A veterinarian, a dentist. Hydro aluminum. I think we're in a good spot though. We shouldn't be more than a mile away. So we're in between these two. Because that was where the crossroads, crossroads were. But we did head south to get there. Well, southwest. So we, we are supposed to guess a little bit more northeast. But where? I think this is probably the road we're on. Or we're on 18. No. So we're, we're closer to Esselborn. So maybe we're up on Rue. Or by the corner of Rue. I think this is a good spot. So I think it's as good as any. Nice. Alright. 513 yards. So we guessed over here. Ends up being a lot closer to the vet. 4,763. But we're losing 200 points. And we're, we're half a kilometer away. That's some pretty tough grading. Um, but I'm glad we were able to figure that one out. So, not bad. Only one real bad guess. And that was using only the road system. And then trying to use logic to guess between, I think it was E44 and E25. Um, but that, that didn't help us out too much. But that's not bad. Let's check out the full results. See how everyone did. Coming in first place is Screenshot the World at 24,613. Followed closely by Mitchell and Ophelion, which I'm going to give you guys basically a tie. Uh, because we all saw how tough that grading system was. Let's let's even see. 6.6 .6 miles and 13.8 miles. And you guys were that close? Wow. Alright. That grading system doesn't seem like a, a 6 mile difference. And then your boy King Math coming in with a real big fuck up. Um, but I was only 16.4 miles. So even that, that's not too bad. But not bad. Um, now you guys did say you wanted to see Romania. Uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for it. I hope you guys are. I'm going to talk a lot about vampires. But I do look forward to seeing you guys all next time. Let me know again about how you privately own a forest. 
and I do look forward to seeing you all tomorrow for, for some Romania. Have a good rest of your day, and bye-bye. Thank you.